Hello, 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 and welcome in to uh, Endless Wonder, a Warehouse 13 inspired D&D campaign. Uh, this is I'm I'm Pixie, your GM for this evening. This is my uh, first time DMing a full length campaign, and we're on episode three, and they're not sick of me yet. Except Andrew. Um, <laughs> um, it's going to be a really, really good time. But before we dive in uh, with a previously on and some housekeeping, let's get to know the players. Evie? You're muted. Hi, there you go. You're, you're not muted. You're fine. It would just took a minute. <laughs> I have to like pause. Good. And then go. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I'm Ray. I am playing Evie. Um, pronouns are they them. Um, they start off in the Air Force and very mission oriented, but also very, um, compassion oriented as well. Um, uh, they're up in the field and kind of just ready to go at a moment's notice. I'm Matthew. I'm playing Gareth Sullivan, a uh, uh, sneaky asshole. <laughs> Which is me, I guess. I'm Andrew. I am playing uh, Dr. Aaron Chase, uh, a DARPA bioengineer. And seducer of librarians, I think, is what we landed on. <laughs> correct, correct. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, I am Jacqueline King, also known as Jack, and um, like to get into places I don't belong and don't really like the answer of no. Dollar. Okay, um, for those of you who are new to the rep, uh, yes, that is exactly it. Thank you so much, uh, along came a potato. Um, we are building this uh, in the world of Warehouse 13, which was a sci-fi show. Um, it, this game is run using the ultra-modern D&D 5e companion system. It is in spa. Oh, no. <laughs> we flipped again. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. You're okay. There you go. Uh, it is inspired by and set within the world of Warehouse 13, Sci-Fi Network 2019 to 2014. Neither the players nor the DM are in any way affiliated with or trying to create canon for the show or its characters. We do not own the rights to Warehouse 13. This is a fan project and a uh, a labor of love in all its pieces. Um, from I mean, Matthew binged this show just because I was casting him in this and loved it. Um, and, again, and also it was good. It's yeah. so good. Um, <laughs> the, and the, the other, first two episodes are great. Heart. Listen, you I'm got so through, proud you of finally, you. You got you to number got two. <laughs> um, our first episode was a long, long episode. Usually these uh, will be about two hours long. Um, our, our opening was the recruitment of these new cast members uh, and these new agents. What we know is this. Uh, if you've watched the show, um, these character names will make sense to you. If you haven't, I apologize. The warehouse agents were... F and I gotta do this right. Previously on Warehouse 13. Uh, <laughs> no, previously on Endless Wonder. There it is. Um, the warehouse agents were all recruited for one reason or another by the mysterious Claudia, who seems to be running this place by herself. Now, those of you who have seen the show will know that Claudia was one of the warehouse agents during Artie's tenure as the boss, basically. Our opening episode started with uh, Claudia and Artie apparently in argument about whether or not these new agents should be allowed. Artie telling her over and over again, you need new blood, you need fresh blood, you need new people. The warehouse is trying to pick new people for you. Let it. She realized that the uh, mission was just too large to be ignored, um, and so she recruited help to track down one of the original copies of the book Jumanji, which was, in fact, creating uh, much, much chaos across the, the world as a whole. Um, once they did manage to stop it, really effectively, actually, better than she expected from newbies, uh, we've come to realize that Artie was not Artie. He was a very, very well-designed AI hologram program who had been keeping Claudia company for who knows how long. You come to realize that she has been running this place alone for a very, very long time. In the context of the TV show, this takes place in between the end of the finale episode with the warehouse trying to move and everybody uh, reminiscing and possibly leaving later. But before Claudia Donovan takes her place as the new Mrs. Frederick, it fills in that gap, which has given us mm, immense amounts of time to play with, honestly. 
Episode two saw us at the beginning of what is now our first two-part episode that did not end in a successful, any kind of way we cut right in the middle. With both teams being sent, uh, well, one team being sent out into the field and the other team staying in the warehouse to do some research, but for the same artifact. An artifact that they don't know what they're looking for. Episode, the first episode was called Second Star to the Right. This episode is called St And Straight On Till Morning. In case you hadn't figured it out, there's a Peter Pan-related artifact at play. Claudia does not know what it is. All she knows is that every now and then when a lot of uh, J.M. Barry memorabilia pops onto the scene, something starts affecting people. Children, it doesn't seem to affect as much. They have wilder imaginations when they come into contact with it. But adults tend to do everything from fully abandoning their jobs to run off and play in the woods to thinking that they can fly and injure and killing themselves, jumping off of things, all in the hopes of pursuing some childhood dream that uh, whatever this artifact is seems to instill within them. Team One, which is Evie and Gareth, our top row, has gone out to Prince Edward Island, where there is a literary auction of sorts being held that nobody seems to know where the invitations came from, what this agency is or this company is that is putting on this auction, but they're auctioning off Lewis Carroll's diaries and bedsheets from, uh, from, you know... Agatha Christie and all of these strange, there are some J.M. Barry personal effects being auctioned off at Dalvey by the Sea in Prince Edward Island. They have disguised themselves as members of the wait staff in order to try to uncover what is happening here. Meanwhile, the team two, Aaron, Chase, and Jackie, are in the Peter Pan Theater in the Pan District of the Warehouse, where unfortunately the childhood memories that have imbued all of the Peter Pan memorabilia from various productions and shows throughout the entire history of the show existing, um, have begun to affect Jackie to the point where she thinks she is five years old again, sitting in her home, and she is going to hurt herself because she does not see reality for what it is. Our story last week ended with Claudia running back to, running back to Jackie's side with a piece of a very dangerous artifact to try to pull her out of it while Dr. Chase sits hovering over her with a shot of his own making to try to wake her up and our other team risks being caught out in the chaos of the hotel. Thank you so, 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 so much for the gifted subs. You are amazing. I'm sorry I was in recap mode. Thank you so much, Shonzi. I hope you're doing well. Thank you. You're wonderful. The gift subs were great. Um, and uh, much love to you. What a great way to start out the day. We don't have a official, like, sub goal, but you hit it. You hit it. <laughs> what, done. Heck Ten yeah. done. Amazing. So we are going to start off tonight with Jackie and Aaron. As Claudia comes bursting back into the room, panting, holding part, a torn off piece of Sylvia Plath's typewriter, which if, uh, is an incredibly dangerous, life-sucking force, um, she has handed it to. Um, uh, she, is, she, 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 she kneels down by Jackie's side and says, Okay, this is probably going to be easier if both of us do it. Give me a hand. And she holds out part of the Sylvia Plath typewriter to Aaron. Right. And he just grabs on. Amazing. She grabs by force Jackie's other hand. Jackie, I need you to make a strength saving throw. As you suddenly feel your body being manipulated in a way that your imagination doesn't tell you it should be. Fourteen. Good. Oh, fuck. Okay, great. Amazing. One time I want you to roll low. <laughs> um, so she uh, she manages to shake. I'm actually going to roll a contested roll on that and see how Claudia does. Not great. Um, she, said she is not able to grab her hand um, it, it quick enough to, to, to Five get Five year old. It. No, yeah, I don't want exactly. it. <laughs> Dr. Chase, I need both. Uh, what? Yes, go. I was gonna say, seeing like what she's trying to do, can I attempt to do it with her other hand? Yes, of course, absolutely. Thank you for okay. stopping me from having to make another choice. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to roll for that one too? Uh, yes. Fifteen. What'd you get? 
Aaron. Uh, okay, so he uh, is it just strength or is it athletics? Uh, you, I'm, I'm gonna let you do athletics. You're trying to, yeah. Uh, I guess either way, it's just a plus one, so two. Fucking hell. Okay, great, <laughs> amazing. I need both. I smack you in the face. Yeah, I need <laughs> both. Flailing. I need both you and I to make wisdom saving throws at advantage because we're helping oh. each other. We're splitting the cost of the artifact. Twenty-four. Oh, thank God. Oh, advantage. Okay, your 24 is saving my eight. Um, it is only because you rolled so high that I'm allowing us to both take another shot at grabbing her. I need all of us okay. to roll, both of us to roll athletics and Jack to roll one more just strength save. You're just flailing. You have no finesse. You're just flailing. Yeah, I'm just flailing. Yes. Oh, thank God. Yep. Oh, wait, I'm, this is not advantage. Uh Four. Oh my god, five. Oh, thank god, 16! <laughs> <laughs> ah, she grabs! You she, got a limb! Yeah, she. I got one limb! I got enough to force your your adult hand with a child's tantrum around this typewriter piece. And oh, I just... I'm like, I'm far, 4'11". Like, Listen, I'm it's, you're still an adult. You're bigger than a five-year-old child. And <laughs> I'm a nerd. And I am... <laughs> Too old for this shit. Like, <laughs> I look great, but I'm really not that young um, anymore. Um, so she just clamps you down and holds on tight. I need you to please make a wisdom saving throw at advantage. I need an extra 20. 20. Oh, natural 20. Thank God. As you wake up all of a sudden, this is the, this, thank God. Um, as you wake up all of a sudden, aware that you, um, aware that you are not going to, aware that the music just got loud. There we go. Aware that you are not, um, you are, you are not a child. You don't know why you thought you were. You don't know why you were pulled into your own memories. Maybe you're having a psychotic break, maybe you're having a something, but you are yourself again. What do you say or do? Parents are dead again. Do you say that out loud? Say, is this real? Are they really dead? Yeah. I'm sorry. And that never goes away. But. What's around us? It is so, uh, the Peter Pan Theater, um, and the, the Like theater, directly, like within arm range yeah, of me. Um, the okay. Peter Pan Theater is built to look like, uh, essentially it is an amalgamation of a dozen, a hundred, uh, countless, Bits and pieces of former plays that have been put on of Peter Pan. One of the key rooms in any production is the Darling's Nursery. So closest to you is a big squishy armchair. There's the beds of the children. There's a big prop window hanging partway through the set um, and it's fairly dark behind it. There's not really a back wall. There are walls. The theater wallpaper is covered. It is made of posters of this show, but uh, it is it's like you're in the middle of a cozy, if mismatched, living room set um, and uh, with, a, with a plate, a fake electric fireplace and, uh, but that could very, very much feels like it would be real warmth if you lit it. Uh, because that is the magic of this place. You know when you're focused and looking at it that it's very fake. But the minute you let yourself forget that, it's the most real place in the world. As she's saying that and, like, can see she's starting to break down, she just reaches for whatever is fabric and squishy nearby, a pillow, a blanket or something, and just grabs it and puts it over her face. And is crying. You're like the five year like the, the adult who like a five year old who's lost their parents. The closest um, yes. Sorry, again, this is just go, as go. soon as she reaches for like a stuffed animal in this nightmare place. <laughs> uh, You're just like Chase no. like <laughs> like puts his hand in his, 
let's not mess with anything. And he pulls off his one of his like three of his scarves. Oh, and is like, it's a three about- scarf emergency. <laughs> I'm just gonna like lean against you then and be like, <laughs> it's, it's all right. Um, oh my god. Take oh, a second and breathe. She does the like five year old blubber, like, <laughs> like trying to breathe through the crying. Claudia is. She gently pries all of both of your hands away from the the typewriter piece again and opens up uh, one of the um, grab bags shoves it back in you get the, f- <laughs> the sparks of electricity and the and the and the, the 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 spark that says ah it's been neutralized she can I have one of your scarves um, sure and he pulls one of the, the three were all yeah. he has he only has three she, scarves she, she pulls one of them back and she wraps even the 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 bag that is she doesn't trust oh, this that's... artifact it's <sighs> I'll get it back to you. Just trust me. This thing needs to be locked up tight. Shoves it in her bag. Um, and uh, it's better than the alternative, I promise. Now, before anybody... Oh, um, what? Oh, I'm sure. Just it, surprise me, is all. <laughs> uh, before any of us start to uh, get in that headspace again, because you don't like me when I'm in it. Trust me, I've been there, and it's not good um because for those of you who remember uh she doesn't have a ton of happy childhood memories and coming out of them is doubly traumatic for claudia because um she went through that when she was in the psych ward (laughs) um she is just you get a little flash of that the viewer the camera the audience gets a little flash of childhood claudia um, and the moments she has relived in this theater before as she did the research because her happy moments as a child were few and far between and often brought to an end with jarring reality. Death, missing family members, all being in the psych ward, all of these things. She does not like this place for what it does to her or to others. Um, but she, uh, kind of awkwardly pats Jackie on the shoulder and lets her have her cry and stands up and walks over to the shelves. She's like, gotta, okay, gotta, um, she just starts talking, said, all right, so anytime, anytime, um, I mean, we need to look for... Stories that are written where they describe something that isn't here. We need, I don't care if it seems as innocuous as he had an ink pen that was blue and we only have the red ones. I don't care. We have to find whatever is missing and call them or they're going to have to try to buy the entire set and that's probably going to throw up some red flags. Um, and she, she, I can get to work. Yeah, I, she, I swear. I can she, be okay. <laughs> she actively chooses to hope that the two of them are going to have each other's backs and figure this shit out because she cannot sit here for much longer. She is going crazy. <laughs> and she starts digging. Don't forget. And she goes, don't forget your comfort books, the boring ones. Because she had them, remember, she had them carry in books that were super boring mm-hmm. to ground them. It's like, hold them tight. <laughs> but she goes, but I don't find Les Mis boring. And just plops it back down. <laughs> Do you speak French? Yeah, uh, no, I do not like French. Fu- that will work. That's why. It's a French <laughs> copy. That's why. <laughs> uh, okay. Let me actually um, start reading it. Yeah, no. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, while the while the, the group here is about to start some investigation shit, let's cut to team one. What you doing, kids? <laughs> You what? Can you hear me? There we go. Okay. There's a delay. It's a- um, I know we're uh, getting to where we look like the uh, wait staff. Do we need to work on getting maybe a name tag? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, <sighs> Earlier when we were, because we did a, uh, we were looking through 
yes. the er, everything to try and get a scope of the layout of stuff. Mm -hmm. Whenever mm -hmm. we did that, did we happen to pass by a like staff break room or a employees only door? I mean, I'm sure you did, but let's see if you remember where it was. Okay. Um, can you make an investigation check? I had at one point opened a character sheet just so I remembered what sorts of things I can ask you guys to do. Um, I, what, I will mention this aloud. Um, <laughs> because I'm not good at investigation. Um, do you... <sighs> Earlier, do you remember? I think we passed by a employees only section. Do you? Because if we, if I, if we did, and it happens to be a break room, I could probably snag somebody's name tags. Uh, and I will also try this investigation check, but I have a negative one to my investigation, so. Uh, 25 for me. A two. The 25, you absolutely. You <laughs> rattle off where seven different staff entrances were that he didn't even notice. You are, okay. you have zero problem tactically being like, well, there was one here, there was one here, this one seemed empty, people mm -hmm. were going out of this one, this is the staff one, this is the what, this is the catering one. Like, you know, you're good. Like, <laughs> okay, perfect. Um, <clears throat> if... I think, did we, were we able to find like the, um, with the the housekeeping because I have a feeling that they would be the ones that probably don't wear their name tags as often probably leave it in the office because yep. do keys and stuff you can always yep 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 mm. yep go, yeah absolutely you can find that okay perfect um yeah if let's let's stop by real quick and if you can keep an eye on the door I can get in and get us two name tags all right yeah casually like blend in kind of make sure I'm keeping an eye out because I definitely like. I don't think I'm as good with doors as you are. I know you're pretty good at that. So I, I don't think I don't think you're as good with doors. Oh man. I, I like to I like to think that there's very little that can keep me out of somewhere. Um. All right, let's go. Amazing. And uh, we will head out towards this uh, housekeeping break room. As you are not trying to sneak because it's a building full of people at present. Yeah. I'm gonna need each of you instead to make either a performance or a deception check as you are trying to walk around like you belong here i mean we are hotel guests right you are hotel guests but they shouldn't be going into these places you're about to go into well not yet yeah <gasps> whenever well that i'm trying to, i'm trying to sneak into that room okay okay so you're, try you're trying i'm trying yeah, okay. I'm trying to sneak in and break into that room. All right, then. I'm not. I'm not trying to like. Oh, I'm an employee in this break room. All right, that's fair. That's that's valid. Then then nope. I will wait till you get there, and you may roll okay. your stealth once you arrive. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> you arrive, by the way. Oh, it's not okay. Like, Perfect. <laughs> I'm not making. I'm not making it. Yeah, there's there is still, there is still um. <laughs> a ton of uh there's still an absolute ton of um just chaos going on mm. in in general um because that like no one's really paying attention so i assume you get there very easily yeah okay perfect so there's just a lot of hustle and bustle all right perfect um and i will yeah is the door locked no. I'll I'll jiggle the handle lightly. No, it's not locked. Uh, listen, man, I don't know. Out, like it's a hotel. I don't know. Like... It is a hotel, but also some funky shits going on here. Mm -hmm. Um, so I'm gonna listen at the door, see if there's anybody inside. <laughs> because you make exactly that motion, I'll give you an advantage on your um, on your uh, <laughs> where is it? Investigation check. Could I argue for perception? You can argue for perception. I'll okay, give you perception. I argue for perception. Hundred percent. I'll give you perception. Oh, thank God I had advantage on that. <laughs> um, because the lower was a natural one. Um, that die is going away for tonight. A sixteen on perception. All right. Um, with that, you know that there's probably about five people. You guys went to like housekeeping break space, or you That's went to like. Fair. 
Um, no, I'm asking, I'm double checking if you went to a housekeeping break space or like a laundry room. Let's stop by the laundry room first. In the laundry room, there's probably one or two people in there. You hear someone talking to someone else, so either they're not, no one's really answering, they're either on their phone or they hmm. are um, talking to someone else. It's a game okay. as to which. Yes. Perfect. Then uh, I what will. What you got, Evie? Before I forget, um, I have an ability that at the beginning of the day I rolled. I, I rolled. I, I wrote down the, the um, number that I rolled last session because this nice. the same day. But nice. if you need to change any of your rolls, if we're in, um, hold on, let me just double check to make sure it doesn't have to be like we're in visual or audio. Um, so visual. I literally was just looking at. It. I'm so sorry. Um. You're an ally that you can communicate with. You can switch out the result. Um, and I have a 16 and I have, I can do that twice. So if okay. it's like we, either of us roll really poorly. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> then um, I will crack open the door just a little bit to see how close the person is to the door. They are, in fact, they have their back to you completely. They've got headphones in. They're clearly talking on the phone to somebody. Oh, um, like, easy they're peasy. not, they're, they are in housekeeping. Even in a fancy ass place like this, th some of these people are just not. Yeah. You know, they don't get paid enough For sure. to, to, no. to care that uh, much. Um, absolutely not. So, um, cool. yeah, they're just like <laughs> sorting and, and pulling stuff and, and like restocking the maid carts, basically. Um, okay. Which is like, that's, they, they're just, they're not paying attention to shit. Yeah. Okay, solid. Then I will, um, yeah, I'll just try and uh, quietly step in and see, are there any, like, are there any unattended maid carts? Uh, no, they're all lined up. Uh, they're all lined up on the other side where this woman is working. Okay. Um, however, you're looking for a name tag. Yeah. There, there is along the wall next to the clock, the punch-in. Mm -hmm. People will leave their name tags up on the corkboard okay. for grabbing when they get to work. Um, Perfect. Which, because sometimes you just have to do that. Um, Absolutely. <laughs> so there's, right, exactly. They don't want to, yeah. Um, so there is a, and they're all magnets because no one likes holes in shirts. So there's this board, this magnet board with backers and actual name tags. Um, okay. You can see from the punch card who is actually in for the day or who isn't. Um I'm going to assume competency in that you would want to double check the names against the punch cards in case someone just forgot to put on their own name tag and is going to come back looking for it. You don't want to like pick someone who's already on the floor. <laughs> yeah. In theory, yeah. I'll, I'll at least give a, a quick Cur glance yeah. at it to, yeah. I, I'm not, I don't want to spend a ton of time just cause this person yeah. can turn around at any moment. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I'll try and pick um, a masculine name and an androgynous name. Nice. Do uh, do me a favor. Roll a stealth with advantage, or I will give you a choice. Uh -huh. I'll let you roll stealth with advantage, or let you roll a stealth and a perception check for two separate things. No advantage, just flat rolls for both. Okay. Um, you know what? I will do two separate rolls. I'll do a stealth and I'll do a um. Yeah, I'll do a stealth and a regular perception. So first is stealth. That is oh, nice. A natural 19 for a 24. You make no noise as you're shuffling through these. You make, you're not sure oh, if shit. she would hear you anyway, but you make not a sound. Perfect. Um, you are, you are, you are silence. You are the night. You are. Uh, I am. <laughs> I'm Batman. Yeah. There um, you go. Okay. So, uh, and then perception, you said? Yes. You got it. Um, ooh, that one's not as good. So um, I'm going to go ahead and use one of my good guess uh, re-rolls from my veteran ooh. ability. Um, it uh, You gain a pool of re-rolls for any roll equal to my wisdom mod. Yes. Um, and it does not count as advantage. Um, and I can yes. do it after. I do it after any rolls are done and I get to choose which result. Yes. To beautiful. use. Phenomenal. So that is considerably better. Beautiful. Use um, it went from a five to a 15. That's... So that is a total of a 20. 
51. Good God, that's definitely enough. That's definitely enough for you to start to tune into a little of what this woman is saying. Oh. Um, she doesn't speak English. She actually speaks French because they're I in speak Canada. French. Yeah, because they're in Canada. Um, because that's, um, but she's speaking in French. And you get little bits and pieces of it. Because she, she's in the towels, she's clinking stuff around, and she's talking mm. quietly, but she's definitely talking on her phone to a loved one, a family, or something. And essentially she's saying, it's such a weird day here. It's, it's, this guy who rents it out the place is, is a little on the, a little on the, uh, um, how do you say obsessive nicely? Well, that, that, that too, I suppose you could say it like that, but that's not the, that's not the point. He's, he's like a, like a bridezilla, but a man about his collections. And it's really weird. Anyway, I, I, I don't quite like his energy. Um, so, uh, that's what's happening today. So if I'm not able to answer often, that's, that's. He's kind of got this place on lockdown. He seems really concerned about, uh, about a lot of things. What? It, no, it's, it's some group I've never heard of. Yeah, something about the Alexandria Collective. I don't know this. I, I, I could, I can't look them up. I'm working. I know, I know you just like, you like work gossip. I know. I, that's why I called. That's why what? you're supposed to be on bed rest. Go put your feet back up, sweetheart. Okay. I'll be home soon. And she just, it's, it's just, the rest of it's just, but, but she has, she has called her partner about, about work drama. Um, no, love I, that. I actually, I love that. <laughs> I forgot you spoke French. I was going to let you, I was going to let you pick up on a couple of words here and there. And then you were like, I speak French. I'm like, you get the whole conversation. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. Then, um, especially hearing that the conversation is starting to wind down, I'm getting the fuck out of there. Yes! Because um, I, I, I don't want to get caught. Uh, so I will uh, skedaddle out, and then um, as I... I'm just going to leave the door slightly cracked. No, this person can just think that they forgot to close it all the way. Nice. And I will uh, just begin walking, hoping, nice. that, hoping that Evie is going to follow nice notice well anything while you what do you notice anything yeah well well i was out waiting outside the door i was like actually just like looking at everybody did i notice anything roll a perception check oh heck yeah uh 20 dirty 20 nice okay very very good um so um you have noticed that uh there seems to be a lot of excitement growing um whispers and rumors about not just the pamphlet information has gotten out but uh that about there seem to be conversations going on about, well, why is this even in there? It doesn't seem that interesting. And other people who have very opposite reactions, which is, don't let anyone snuff this up. They can't know how good a deal it is. Okay, Like, you are, you're reading lips. You're noticing mm -hmm. things and passing that people are saying quietly because they're ignoring you because you look like waitstaff. They are things they wouldn't say to each other, to the other attendees, to the other invitees. They're saying to their, their buddies, their companions quietly on the phone to their brokers of we may need more than a bargain for with this something about some of these items has excited them and uh yeah while you two think on that we're gonna pop back to our uh our warehouse team yes you fucking weirdos <laughs> That's why we're gonna. That's you know what you know what. Uh, sometimes uh, humor writes itself. That's, that's how it. Yeah, that, that's how he goes out. That's I, how he goes out. I was. I typed that out and I was like, 
that's kind of funny. And then just, <laughs> as soon as Matthew started giggling, I lost my shit. I couldn't. <laughs> Those of you who don't know, in episode one, uh, Dr. Chase accidentally completely panty dropped this poor, poor bookish librarian girl. Um, and it was ridiculous. Um, <laughs> I'm I'm insulted by how well it worked, um, and uh, and so we decided that he uh, has sway over librarians, and so he's there. That's his favored prey. It's his favored prey, exactly. Yeah. When we switch yeah. this into a Vampire the Masquerade version of Warehouse Thirteen, that's gonna be what happens. Um, yes, I prey on exclusively bookish, introverted librarians <laughs> who wouldn't know what to do with a handsome Englishman if it, if he came up and bit them in the neck. Um, what a good, what a good uh, way to do your feeding as a vampire. My oh. new, that's my new. After Siren dies, man, it doesn't even have to be walking into the sun. <laughs> doesn't even have to be uh, vampires. What's uh, what if uh, Doctor Chase's whole obsession with his old dart gun is he's just a serial killer? You know what? I I wouldn't put it past <laughs> him. Uh, it's only because the warehouse chose him that I choose to trust you. However, the fact that he almost just fucking murdered a poor helpless old man and did I'm not so, murder him. You don't know what he, that would have done to him. He was old and frail. <laughs> he knows exactly what it would have done to him. Uh, He's uh, a doctor. <laughs> but do you know what medications he was, he was taking yeah, exactly. and how it would have counteracted with you him don't that know. kind of doctor? Well then. <laughs> Anyway, um, oh, I'm sorry. No, so you're a physiologist. Yes, you are. <laughs> yeah, great. Um, anyway, um, <sighs> so, uh, but yes, I did just name drop that specific thing. Um, yeah. uh, I would like to jump to Dr. Chase and Jackie King um, as we, uh, Claudia has begun to search. Claudia has begun to search frantically, in fact, as she does not want to be here. Um, yeah, that's... Is there a list that we are comparing things for, like checking off or anything? No, what, like... she is, what she is looking for, for instance, she's pulled out a diary and she is like, um, she says, in this, uh, in this account of uh, J.M. Barry uh, interviewing with, with paper, they said he was wearing a, a tan coat with a patch on it. Can you see if the tan coat in the back has a patch on it, like she's looking for the, yes? You what? Uh, now we can hear you. I don't know why it does that. Um, okay, so uh, I just remembered that we have Farnswood. Yes, we do. Um, can we, at, or at what point would the timeline have cooperated where I tell Claudia that there's Items that I could have sworn were supposed to be in the in the warehouse. Well, you can call now if you would like. We're there. Okay. You're good. There, just... there, there was quite a lot of you guys got there fast, um, yeah. but also it was uh, it took it took them a long time to get to this point, and they've been we flash forward enough here in the Pan District that you all would have caught up. We are okay. we have been here researching for hours at this point. We are looking for like I said, she is she is asking. Hey, there. See if there's a patch on that jacket. If there is, we can cross that off. It's clearly not the patch. She is like yeah. looking for defining features about J. M. Barry's life that have not made it here. As innocuous as they seem, she's like, if it says that one of his buttons was red and the rest of them were purple, I want to know. I want to check. Like that's how t how close. I she's finished done. cataloging. The pens. There are thirty-two red, fifteen blue, and one hundred and eighty-seven black. Thirteen of them are ballpoint. The remaining point are fountain. Fifteen of them still have ink and are usable for writing. Four hundred and seventy-two <laughs> sheets of paper. She's. I'm making. Uh, I'm making lists and like an Excel spreadsheet, pretty much on yeah, my. On your I, I got my tablet back, and I'm back, back on my tablet, and also like. Between them yelling things to me and him saying, "Okay, we got these." Yeah, uh, I'm, you're I'm the middleman as I'm as I'm t I'm I'm reading out the things in the journals, and you got and he's checking that they exist. Um, and at this point, the camera can tell that um, it's most likely a threshold setting that is too high on your mic. It's a built-in feature to remove background noise, depending on what program you're using. It could be the noise gate. That is actually a very good point. Thank you, potato. Um, yeah, because if you adjust that in Discord or on whatever, it could change it, um, which is nice. Um, but we can play with it. Um, so, uh, 
it's okay. We love you, and we're gonna we're we're, we're patient. We're good. Um, every we are willing to wait for everything you say because you say good shit. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, so the camera has the camera can tell they've been here for a while. Claudia's hair, while usually down, is up now in this messy, just like she has done the one-handed bun thing of just she is sweating and chaos. There are stage lights in here. They've gotten hot and sweaty. Um, like, it is gross. They are tired. They have been searching through everything. Jack's hair, Jack's hair is getting curlier and bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's getting Yeah, she, there. like, runs her fingers through it, just gets fluffier. Exactly. Yeah. The, like, uh, oh. the, the, by this point, they have learned. Um, by this point, they have learned because, as I mentioned, the shadows of the pan will occasionally creep through and want to escape. Um, that's why they have to leave the stage lights on, is because if they are not, the shadows will attach to them and follow them out of the pan district and out of the, the theater and into the warehouse. And having a pan shadow infect the warehouse has never gone well. Um, you know, think the Alice in Wonderland breach, but worse. Um, and, uh, and so that is 100% a thing she wants to avoid. So yes, if you would like to, at this point, Farnsworth in, you are absolutely welcome to do so. So I think after, obviously, we do the name tag thing, we're back in the room and we Farnsworth, I'm like, this is, we gotta, we gotta tell her everything. Yeah, um, and as we're, as we're walking back, I would have just, um, I heard something in the, in the laundry room, we definitely need to talk to them. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. Can... Okay. So yeah, we get, we get to the room, Farnsworth. You said there are items up for auction that are supposed to be here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, at this point, pretty much have gone over every item that's in the warehouse that I physically can, and these should be in the warehouse, and they're listed as available. <sighs> also, have you have you ever heard of a, a group called the Alexandria Collective? I'm sorry, the what? Yeah, the Alexandria Collective. Like Library of? I assume. I overheard um overheard a housekeeper. Uh they were talking to she's somebody pulled, on the phone. She's pulled out her, her own and she's looking up and she has a pop up um like a mini a mini hub like she has at the office. But it's a mm. small version that just pops out of her little iPad. And she is searching. <laughs> Jackie's like, ooh. ooh, yeah, not not for you yet. Um, and she is swiping through. And she's there's nothing in the records here about that. There's and a that's very unusual. Apparently, there's one person that's in charge, and they are very particular and have a bad vibe and bad energy. And I assume it's some weird artifact nonsense. Very particular. Is there, <sighs> is there any chance that, like, given his academic background, Aaron might have any inkling there, of who these people are? There is no record. There is no... This is not a name. This is not mm. a name anyone has heard of. This mm. is not... And she... I can't even find any kind of umbrella corporation that they're hiding under. I can't... That's what's the weirdest... Companies hide all the time, but you can usually follow a paper trail of things that got them to that point. This one, I can't. And you, I Jackie's I looking too, if, just to see. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this would help, but could you try and find some companies that went under that might have had it? They burned down, like the library. Huh. I appreciate very, very much your enthusiasm about that, but um, I'll look. I'll keep looking. Um, what we think right now is, uh, I mean, so far there's no pens are miscatalogued or missing. Every record of books of his seem to be fine. Um, I do think we're still looking for something fairly innocuous. I mean, all the costume pieces are accounted for. All of the lamps are here. Um, I mean, even the... And she stops. She's check jewelry. She calls over to, to the other two. She's like, jewelry check any kind of yeah open the yeah 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 putting up the pamphlet is there any jewelry to... is there a button shaped like a hedgehog or a thimble with a scratch on the side of it 
No. Um, Those are actual things from uh, the plays. No, and I love it. Um, no, <laughs> thank you for that. Um, she says, no. She says, uh, read me the list. If, if the pamphlet tells us what is there, because we had no information until you all got there, read me some of Barry's things. Uh, I'm not going to make you invent we read. that shit. I, <laughs> I got so in the moment that I was we like read. waiting for Matthew to like Matthew? start reading shit. There's, read. there's a, a, a pen and uh, probably a book and um, I don't know, maybe a manuscript. Sometimes I get a little too into the story. Alkali, long lasting energy. <laughs> CVS Pharmacy. <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay you do read i'm a professional um you do read off this list of stuff so um and uh it is and she narrows it down to a couple of things mm. and uh she 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 shouts off and has the other two double check um i need you to make three both of you not an event, but I'm letting you help each other. I need you guys to make three investigation checks. Let me know what each of them were. Okay. Which two? The them? Sorry, the warehouse team. Warehouse team needs to make oh, three okay. invest. Sorry. Warehouse team, because warehouse team is double checking paperwork and everything in the pan theater right now. 20, 24, for fuck's sake. and a natural 20 for 27. Oh, you find all of the mentions I'm looking for within record time. And uh, Jackie, what yeah. you got? 21, 9, and 17. Okay. So you find one of the things between the two of you flawlessly. You're like, it's not it's not that there's there's something not missing here. Um, because you're looking for just references of things. You know, if it's a button, you gotta get, kind of guess. Two things seem to still resonate, though. As familiar and should be in this collection and aren't even if they were never discovered before and could have slipped through the cracks. One is a, uh, one is an old hand-drawn map like Neverland, an early edition. The other is a compass that is engraved, hold on, with the initials. I have to double check something so I don't give you the wrong thing. Um, that is engraved with the initials D, uh, J, nope, D, B. I'm correct. D, B. Um, one is, one is again, hand drawn by multiple hands. Uh, there's no, there's different types of strokes and different types of, uh, and she goes, how did we miss the map? How could we have missed... I don't know what the compass does. I don't know, but I... I mean, that's a possibility, too. Uh, but... Those are probably your target. You mentioned a map, you mentioned a compass. Either of those could be it. Be careful. I'm nervous what? about groups I've heard of. I'm more nervous about groups I haven't. But I'll keep researching them. Well, what do you want us to do about the other items? The warehouse items? If you can, make note of who gets them. We will have to track them down afterwards. Do you want us to try and grab them? If you can without drawing attention to yourself, absolutely. Hmm. But if there are warehouse items that are out there and somebody is selling them at auction and you two start buying only warehouse items, it's going to get pretty suspicious. Hmm. Get the ones you think you can. Or we resort to plan B, which is steal everything and get out. That was my plan A, but all right. <laughs> That's why the warehouse put you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, if that's what we're looking for, either of those two things, I uh, I think we got to look into this Alexandria thing. Hmm. Yeah. Right. Um, and if you can, I'll I'll try and we'll try and grab a name for whoever rented this place out and might be in charge, and we'll get it over to you if we find out. Thanks. And she uh -huh. hangs up. Um, she looks at the two of them. Find every single mention of either anyone's interactions with the map or the compass as quickly as you can. 
sometimes knowing what it do why it does what it does is helpful. And I start doing it, going along anything digital I can find on it. Also, let's get that. Let's. Uh, oh, she's she she can't get out of here because um, this is where the information all is. Um, but she uh, she if, looks at. If you'd be better suited to just communicating with us remotely so you yeah. can work from your desk. Yeah, I gotta get up there. There's there's too much happening and this, uh, as good as it is, isn't gonna be able to handle everything. So, she, um, it looks like she's having a hard time drawing her, pulling herself away from the stage, actually. But eventually she does and she says, don't touch the lights, they'll turn off by themselves. Don't let any shadows follow you up. And she books it. You are on your own. I pull out of one of my my mini pockets. I pull out a little pen flashlight, and like if I see a, a, uh, any of the shadows start moving, be like, "Hey, back, hey, back, back, back pen, back." back. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, bad shadow, bad shadow. Um, I'm going to need both of you to make uh, with advantage this time because you know more closely what you're looking for. Investigation checks. Oh, just just one check, or is it multiple again? One check. 19. 19? 21. 21. All right. Between the two of you, you are able to figure out this. And you may relay that to the other two. Um, you are able to figure out that... Um, hmm, neither potential artifact has been mentioned much. But the map officially passed on to the boys who the stories were written about as opposed to J.M. Barry himself. That is one of the reasons it may have taken so long to track them down. Whereas the compass belonged to J.M. Barry's older brother, David, uh, as opposed to J.M. Barry himself, which is why it may have taken that a long time. Both of them were possibly buried in pawn shops for years and passed off as junk. Both of them have the potential to have awakened the inner child within when they have come in contact with people. It may help you narrow it down to see if you can research either of those other parties. Either the mm -hmm. brother and why that might do it, or the children and why that might do it. While you decide what you would like to research, what kind of questions you'd like to ask, and what sort of things you'd like to investigate, I'm going to cut back to the party crew at the inn. Um, who now know at least two things you're looking for. You also know that the auction is due to begin at lunchtime, which is, like, very close. <laughs> we'll be able to flash forward to that very quickly, but it's, you don't have a day to plan. You have, like, like, a, like less than an hour. An like, hour. 20 yeah. minutes. Like, okay, we grab it. Before the auction, if we could. Yeah, if you right? if, yeah if you can try. If we if we can, yeah, let's try and track down. If we can track that down, and he'll look at his watch. Um, if we can, if we can't get anything, then we need to come back here. If we can't steal anything, and we plan on buying it, we need to not be in these clothes. So, mm -hmm. I think we give ourselves ten minutes between we have to be back here 10 before lunch so that we can get changed and then get back out there as regular people as patrons absolutely yeah okay here's my um question. Go, 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 go. uh so <clears throat> okay so we have our bags we have compass in the map okay um and then he'll he'll go with go over with you what other mm -hmm. items there are just to make sure that he knows and can remember what other items we're looking for. Also, oh my god. I also have that Dr. Pepper. It's very good. Team, <laughs> Team synchronicity. <laughs> it's very good. Um, but um yeah, he'll want to go over with you all of the other items that we know are warehouse items so that we can be on the lookout for those. Do we know how many like how many are there that we are looking for? DM storyteller. There's uh huh. Minor or major, there's about eighteen items. 
that Jesus should have yeah, Christ. some seeming much larger than others. Uh, painting, sure. Paintings of the Cheshire Cat from Lewis Carroll's Manor. Um, mm. Bits and pieces of Lovecraftian nonsense um, that should just probably be buried in the dark vault forever, um, mm -hmm. given the everythingness. Um, Agatha Christie's Poison Maker's Kit. Uh, we've got we've got bits and pieces of um, eight, 18, 18 things that should okay, be cool. include and, and including things that you heard stories of of you know her glory days as an agent there's a couple of things that claudia helped track down in here Jeez, wow Beat okay beatrix potter's tea set is in there um okay, there's it. there's stuff that should not be up for okay. yeah well, cool then um all right, obviously the bigger things we're not going to be able to bag and tag, but um, let's let's keep an eye out for all of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, yeah, we can... Hmm? We should probably see if we can't investigate in the hotel where things are being held, probably in a back room, probably with heavy security, but we yeah. got to find something. Um, do we know if this... In our brief foray of exploring this hotel, is there a basement? Let me find out. <laughs> I mean, I can decide there is. Um, yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm looking at the layout really quickly of the actual building, and because it's so close to the coast, I'm saying, I'm thinking no. Um, I would. Have, Prince, I also yeah. assume not. Yeah, Prince Edward Island is an island. Um, that yeah. probably is too much flooding risk for it to actually have a basement, at least a okay. good enough one, a uh, big enough one. Mm -hmm. Um, so no, no basement. Okay, cool. It's then made we... of uh, iron rich clay, so that's really kind of hard to build in. Yeah, mm, that too. That's also fair. Yeah. So then we know. Yeah. So that helps us l uh, lower our what we need to be looking for to large conference room sized rooms mm -hmm. if they're housing things like paintings and large items securely mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. so i think that's what we that's what we start looking for yeah yeah and i definitely don't think that, that there's gonna that there's probably more people security wise instead of a secure area because this this place was not built for that it was originally a house and they built a hotel i doubt that they have a vault Exactly. Like so. Okay, then yeah, let's we'll head out and start looking for some conference room that has three guards in front of it. <laughs> Do me a favor. I am going to Oh my god, hi Reason. Um I am going to let you roll a competency check, essentially. Um in, I kind of want to make it because because I'm giving you both the benefit of the doubt of having been in the field in one way or another for a very long time. I want both of you to roll either an intelligence or a wisdom just check baseline, whichever you feel strongest in. Go ahead. A what? A ten intelligence. Ten intelligence and a modified twenty wisdom. Oh, amazing! All right, you both wander around for a little bit, um, trying to kind of keep an eye on things. Uh, with that intelligence check, Evie is about to try and grab the guest roster, you know, from the front. You have developed a plan to possibly see, okay, maybe if we see where they check in, what rooms they paid for, what whatever. And it is at that point that you realize there's two entire cabins right off the property of the building that no one else has access to, really. They're not in the direct building. Mm. They have their own entrance. They have their own little golf cart. They And there's big tents out on the lawn because it is event season. Very easy to come and go and move things around. 
also very easy to protect if you know all the entrances and exits. You think it might be worth checking there? Got it. Okay. Um, do Evie, do you want to split up or do you want to stick together? Uh, I think at the end of the day, we're like going out to the cabin, we're going to be kind of exposed. So I think if we go out together, like we're going out to go, like maybe take some food over there or maybe like have some sort of cover story, I think it might be better if there's two of us than just right. one. So we're going for a project. Perfect. Yep. Um, <clears throat> do. Do we have um, enough time for me to run back to the room um, and grab a, like a, I don't, I, not like a duffel bag, but like something that looks like a repair kit, almost like a, like a tool bag. Yep, you do. Okay, perfect. Then I will go back to the room really quick, grab a tool bag just to look like we are doing something. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can head out and does one of the two cabins... If we can see them both, does either of them look like they are more active than the other? Roll a perception check. Good rolls continue for now. That was a 19. Nice. With a 19, you notice the barest difference, as neither has external security. Both of them have windows all the way closed. Both of them whether it's because people want privacy or because they're booked or because they're protecting something, you could not tell looking at them from the outside. Whoever this is has done a very good job mm. of masking their presence or, or, or keeping themselves protected and safe. However, a one thing they cannot change is the fact that whenever they moved this stuff in, it was heavy. There are scrape marks on the ground outside of one of them. There are yeah. broken flowers in the flower bed outside of one of them. The, what is it called? Um, it's the uh, it's the the two bathroom cottage. Um, you can see it on their website on their gallery. Um, it's at the very very bottom. Um, is where they have. I'm posting it in the chat. Um, is where they have sequestered themselves. A point over to it. Um, it looks like that's probably our our best bet. I can we is there is there anybody like any people outside or anybody that you can uh no one who seems suspicious. There's some groundkeepers working just in general in the area. Again, catering staff is working. Uh, the tents are up because this is a big event. There's a bar out there. There's a dance floor. This, this, whoever has rented this place out has made a massive, massive deal out of making this special and, and unique and uh, make everyone here feel like one of a kind. Okay, cool. Then, yeah, let's just uh, start walking over. And as we get closer, we can start trying to look into windows and stuff and try and find a, a quiet place to break in is there more than one entry or is it just the front door uh, the there are um one moment while i tell you there is one front door um there's a side door mm. and there's oh there's an upstairs there is an upstairs there is an upstairs i want to go there <laughs> I know. Two this doors. looks like such a Let's call it two doors. Um, let's call it front and back. Uh, God, okay. I want to go there. Somebody pay to send me <laughs> to this place. Prince Edward Island, please sponsor my stream. Go. Sorry. Do we do we want to sneak or do we want to go with the staff and knock on the door like we're going in for meeting to see if there's anybody in the We can start by knocking. I will let I you. I will let you lead the way on that. I can clog my way through that. Let's go. Okay. So yeah, I want to just knock on the door and do the knock, knock, knock. Facilities. Knock, knock, knock. Facilities. And see if there's any answers. Roll a deception check. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to use one of my 16s. Uh, so 16 and then uh, 22. Amazing. Amazing. Phenomenal. <laughs> um, so that is a... Uh, the host themselves, you can tell this is not the host. You can tell that this close to the event, that he's probably off dealing with it in there. Uh, luckily, whoever he's left in charge of his security is not paying attention to that, said this dark tanned man pops his head out said, can I help you? We didn't order anything, Tibby. Uh, we have a system that just kind of like flags things when things go wrong and um, we got a, a notification that the um, the sensor on your toilet was malfunctioning and I just wanted to come in and look at it. We don't want it overflowing and damaging any of your stuff. Oh. oh. Shit. Yeah, that'd be real bad, wouldn't it? If you hadn't yeah. said that specifically, he was not going to let you in. Well done. Um, I legitimately was waiting for you guys to make it about the stuff and if you had <laughs> not, uh, he... Oh, shit. All right. Um... Well, listen, that's about to start, and then, obviously, I'm going to have to go um, help him, you know. Uh, so, um, get, get, can you get it done quick? Yeah, and I'll, I'll um, my name is going to say Ray on it, R-A-Y. Oh, nice. um, I'm going to be like, I, I'm Ray, I'm one of the facility people here, so if you need anything, just, uh, just page me. Uh, right, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to ask you not to touch anything when you're in there, obviously. Uh, even I'm not okay. allowed to touch it. Um, can't imagine why he says something about value. Uh, but um, it's just right. You know, which which toilet is it? There's two. Um, uh, I pull out a little my my barn's worth. Yeah, you're pretending it's like... <laughs> <laughs> you just said, and we're like, uh, it looks like it's uh the upstairs one, so we'll need a um a little bit of extra time, but yeah. Right, yeah, just head on in. The stairs are up to the left. Um, okay. Yeah, head on out. And he goes back to watching TV. Um, he lets you both in, closes the door behind you, props up. I mean, the windows are closed, boarded. There are... This place is filled with crates. This is just a safe house for the artifacts and the items. They are all labeled with a stamp that looks like some kind of hieroglyph. Neither of you can read. Um... But they're all in this, all in, uh, I mean, you don't know, you can't see the other bedrooms, but there's tons of things shoved in this, in this room. There's a, I mean, there's crates of all sizes everywhere. Um, and, uh, yeah, so. Um, first, as we are going upstairs, I'm going to pull out my phone and try and take a quick snapshot, like a quick, discreet picture if the dude has stopped looking at us, of the hieroglyph that is stamped onto each of these make um, a, crates. Make a slide of hand check. You got it. Please. Um, do I want to re-roll that? Am I able to re -roll? <laughs> Any roll, then yes, I will. <laughs> I'm going to use another good guess. Um, okay, well, the first one is fine, I guess. Um, uh, that's going to be a 15 total? Absolutely. Absolutely okay. you do. Um, cool. You 100%. Um, so you have managed to, uh, are you sending it to Claudia? Uh, when we get upstairs. Great. I, I'm going to wait a minute so that we're not, like, I'm not pulling my phone out, yeah. taking a picture, exactly. and then texting and exactly. having him catch me. Smart. Um, so you managed to... Yeah, you, you two managed to get upstairs, no problem. Um, facilities, maintenance, people style. We're in no rush. We take our sweet time walking through that area, just like Mosey. And they're, I mean, not obviously nosy, but I think at the end of the day, most hotel people kind of, especially in a situation like this, they're going to be interested in what's going on. So we're just kind of like slowly and looking at things, not being obvious, but just being like a normal person and like look things mm -hmm. to see if there's anything we pick up on noise um so uh yeah not a problem at all um 
everything is crated and boxed. Uh, like I said, all you're able to see is that, is that, that, I won't say cartouche, um, I, all that, that stamp, that symbol. Um, can't tell what it is, but uh, it's, it's, it's labeled on all of them. And, and occasionally Alexandria Collective. Um, and, uh, but. I want to make sure to also get a photo of Alexandria Collective yeah. to see if it is any logo-ish thing yeah, 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 that exactly. Claudia can use. Exactly. Um, so yeah, she, uh, yeah, do that. Are you, let me know when you've, when you've sent it. Yeah, so we get upstairs and we can send it. Yeah, as soon as we're upstairs, I just, I didn't know if you were trying to cut to the other team. So if you are, it can wait. If not, I send it. Do, do yeah, do your as soon as you're upstairs. I'm, I'm going to be the bridge between the next group because I am uh, the one getting that. Um, yeah. uh, I send it. <laughs> uh, Is there any amazing. crates upstairs? Is there any what? Any crates or anything upstairs? Um, yes. But you get the feeling these ones are not quite as important. Um, yeah, okay. They seem, well. they, they're not guarded. They just kind of exist. Um, they are, they, they, they just are. Um, are they also marked with the same symbol or just with Alexandria Collective? Alexandria Collective. No, not no the symbol, symbol. No special symbol of any kind. Um, cool. Well done. Well done. Um, and uh, one sec. Do I know if Evie speaks French, by the way? Does Evie speak French? <laughs> no, I, I speak Italian and Russian. Rip. Okay, that's fine. Still amazing. Still amazing. Still great. Um, so, you send that to Claudia. Mm -hmm. She is... Uh, camera cuts to her in her little workshop and her desk. And she has been... She's popped up all the windows. She has... This room is filled with... A billion... Alright, she works so fast. And this computer works so fast. She has trained it for a really, really long time to do so. Um, and she is just working so hard. Um, and, uh... It is... The minute this comes up, she goes, Ah! Ha! Okay! Where have I seen that before? Shit! And she... So she she is able to she she plops her Farnsworth in a or her phone or wherever you text it if you text it it's a real cell phone and she puts her cell phone on this little thing that she has done before where it grabs the image from and it immediately adds it to the database and it immediately starts scanning all of these things but it's gonna take so what is my rest of my warehouse crew doing what is the uh, Jackie and Chase team up to? For, before we get into that I just realized something. Um, my cup says darling. I love that. I love that so much. I was like, oh, Wendy, darling. But, um, do you want to take the brother or the boys? Um, either or. I, at this point, honestly, I'm just kind of guessing. So, if there's one or the other that you feel more comfortable or that you'd be better suited towards. Otherwise, well, I can open two windows. <laughs> <laughs> Look up both, and then can you, I can do the typey thing, and you can do the looking thing. Okay. And, uh, yeah. If there's anything that having to do with that, I guess I don't know. Um, so yeah, I start first um, trying to gather information on the older brother. Um, yeah. How much older? Where did he live? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When did he have said mm -hmm. compass? Or, um. Um, you find information about David Barry. Um, now, um, James was, uh, the ninth child out of ten. There were a lot of kids. Oh. Um, however... There's a lot of kids. However, David was the favorite. Um, to the point where when he was, he died in an ice skating accident. Um, and, uh, when... David was, or when James was, I believe, like, nine or ten, and uh, his brother was thirteen. Um, there's a famous story that he does reflect on several times, if you're looking up the brother's name in his papers, that his mother only started to smile again when James started pretending to be David. He would put on 
David's old clothes that were left in the closet and play act as David. And it cheered his mother up for a moment. J.M. Barry learned at a very young age that pretending was better. Pretending was the way to survive. And while he himself never got to have a proper childhood because of that incident, he helped so many other people develop childhood wonder in a way of trying to recreate that feeling of making someone happy with pretend. But he was very, very young when that happened. This could definitely be it, and I share the information. Like, that sounds like bringing people back to their childhood and happier times is definitely a potential artifact. Um, and then I start looking up the, the boys and the map, and did they draw the map, or did... Jim Barry draw the map out, for them. You find out the Llewellyn Davies boys did draw the map with his help. Uh, however, okay. the more you read about them, the less you find stories of joy, but more how tragic the Llewellyn Davies boys' lives ended up being. After J.M. Barry, uh, you know, helped them through their childhood years, they died very tragic deaths very soon. George was 21 when he died as a World War I soldier. Michael was 21 when he drowned. Um, John had lung disease. They did not have exciting or happy lives after that. They were very young and doing very adult things. Uh, you, you believe that James was six when his older brother died at 13. I was correct about him being 13, but James, J.M. Barry was six when that incident happened, by the way. Um, mm. True, true, genuine, actual true story about J.M. Barry, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, I knew that before I started researching Oof. for this episode. I just knew that already, um, unfortunately. Um, but you do get the feeling that this map would have a different effect if it were an artifact. This map would make people... Um, go to very dark places, whereas the compass that maybe have been in David's pocket, may have just been in his clothes, something that got hung on to and was seen as innocuous was never a focus point necessarily of stories about Jan Barry, but belonged to this person who he associated forever with pretending and make-believe may have become imbued by this idea of chasing childhood again and laughter and pretend and make-believe. And so now when adults are dealing with it who have forgotten how to make-believe, it has a, due to the darkness behind it and the reality of the situation that was happening to J.M. Barry at that time, is pretty on the outside and very damaged on the inside. So you're pretty sure it's the compass. <laughs> and, uh, we definitely don't have the compass. I yell back. Um, I can check again. Give me just a moment. And, uh, Dr. Chase just starts kind of moving along the outside of the stage. Um, is there any place we haven't checked? Is there... Mm. I'm not sure. Oh. Just kinda... <laughs> uh, I call up to... Do, I... do we have some... How do we communicate while in there? Using the Farnsworths? Yeah, you can use the Farnsworths. Okay. So I call up to Claudia. Yeah. Be like... well, while you're calling her, I'm going to check out just in the outside aisles just if this was... a. If this was David's and not James, it might not be kept within this same. Smart. You talk to Claudia. I'll, I'll check. And I guess would that be like an investigation? Or... Yeah. Um. Do me a favor. If you're stepping out. First, make a uh. First, make a perception check, uh, to make sure mm. no shadows are following you. Uh, that is a 
Six. <laughs> you have no idea. You're you're very focused on. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, if it was David's, it might not be in there. Let me go check. You have no fucking. Can clue. I can I use the I'm not stupid to go and go? Oh wait, shadows and shine a flashlight at him. <laughs> uh, he can he can roll with advantage. He can roll one more time. Uh, fourteen. Still, you think you're fine? <laughs> We won't know for sure. You think I'm also fine. not stupid. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you think you're good. Um, okay. So uh, we'll leave him to his... In- it's going to be an investigation check. Give me that in just a moment, though. Let me pop over okay. to Jackie. You call Claudia. What do you say? Yeah. Uh, so look, we looked, or I looked up the, the maps, or the map with the boys and the compass with the brother. Sounds more like it would be the compass that is what we're particularly looking for. Great. Okay, great. Um, and briefly tell her the story of him pretending to be his dead older brother to make his mom happy. No. God, I thought I had a... that is. I thought I had a fucked up childhood. What? Um, great. Oh, yeah. Great. Excellent. And I did. Um, that makes me feel like I grew up in a Hallmark card. Oh, fantastic. Um, so she is going to, um, okay, okay. All right. Um, Was I able to find a picture of the compass in my searching? She's going to ask you to look. Double Now that okay. you know what you're looking for, double check the, because there may be more, multiple things. Let's make sure they're not trying to pass a fake on us once they get it, because that has happened before. Um, we don't want a forgery, we don't want a fake, and if we have trouble finding what it looks like, they might also, but I at least want to give them a chance of finding the real thing. Um, so do I roll with advantage? Do I roll investigation? You're going to roll what investigation roll? normal. Um, normal. Okay. Yeah. Investigation normal. Ooh, twenty-three. God, good. Um, I will let you know what you find in a moment. We're gonna cut we're gonna we're gonna cut to the the group up here and then pop back to you guys. Um so uh you have you're clanking around up there at the toilet, correct? Trying to make noise, yeah. trying to make yeah. Yeah, well I, I for sure know how to fix the toilet, so I know how of course to you do mess with things uh to uh make it sound like i'm doing something so i'm like i like take the the top of the tank off and i'm like i'm like and i i'm gonna holler down i'm like just turn the water off for a minute don't don't try to use the water and i like I set up the water and um uh and i turn <laughs> i turn to gareth and i'm like hey, what's the plan we can't just no, we can't just uh, fix a toilet. Um, uh, oh. Yes, so... Um, okay, so it looks like everything up here isn't marked, and I assume that things that are marked are artifacts. So um, I can claim that we need to check the b- bottom, the first floor toilet to make sure that it's not busted now that we've messed with this one. What if uh, we can do that? Or what if we also say, like, hey, I have to shut off the breaker, so it's going to shut off the TV, which then is like, I have no point in being here, then you cool if I bounce out. Maybe? Maybe? Sure. Sure. I like it. I like it. Um, I will I will go tell him that we need to shut off the breaker and um, then find the breaker. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, because it, since it, since it, it was a sensor that Page just maybe we can say it looks like the sensor's faulty, so let me do a full reset. Let me of the let me fully reset. Okay, that good idea. Good idea. Good 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 good. Okay. Um. It, uh, <laughs> if there's anything, if anything goes wrong, um, just shoot him with the electric gun. True. 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 Okay. So what if I go to him and you sneak? Love you better- it. Even better. I. I like that even better. Okay, <clears throat> let's do it. I'll let you lead the way, and then I'll sneak after. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna make my way down. And be like, I'm so sorry to bother you. Is he still watching TV? Or is he? He's just... uh, sorry. He is. Really... He is. Yeah. He is still. Really. Um, yeah. Go. Really quick, Gareth. Uh, Chase is calling you directly on the Farnsworth. Oh. 
Okay. okay. Um, with the toilet, and I'm going down to talk to him. And yes, he, he, yeah, I'm still upstairs as of right now um, until until I hear you finish talking to him. Open Farnsworth. Oh, sorry. Really quick. Um, yes. Jackie and Claudia are dealing with some computer thing. Uh, it's the map. It's the map. Okay. The the item is the map, for sure. Okay. Okay. Um, what what did you find out about it? Um, just something about his brother, and they drew it together and escaping to another world back when they're children. It's something that's regressing them. Oh. Uh, okay. So. Uh, sorry, it sounds like they're calling me. Um, good luck. All right. I'll, I'll you, talk to you soon. Yep, thank you. Okay, got it. Click. As this conversation is happening... Hey, no. <laughs> as this conversation is happening, um, <laughs> Claudia has finally popped up. Um, the, the hieroglyphic gave her more information. And she, having no one to talk to about it, is looking around in frustration. She, she's, but we fixed that. We fixed the, this massive, massive cartouche is the symbol for Warehouse 2, which was in the city of Alexandria. She said, we reclaimed, we did. The Alexandria Collective. Oh! Shit! Huh! She pops open, um... And she calls. She calls Gareth, who's just hung up his phone back up. Um, okay, cool. Now that I'm done with that phone call, <laughs> I can go <laughs> sneak somewhere. <laughs> um, she calls. She um. She calls uh, immediately. Oh, she, okay. <sighs> What's up? Alexander the Great was the caretaker of Warehouse Two. He thought that the warehouse was going to be built at the Library of Alexandria. That's why they built the library, but it was built for a different reason. They, For some reason, the regents didn't want to put it there. Now, before it burned down, the Library of Alexandria was used as a safe house for the regents, but it never was an official warehouse. However, when we started ooh, a few, many, many years ago, we uncovered the old for forgotten lost warehouse too in Egypt, uh, which was a whole thing that we lost people and it was, very, very stressful time, but I knew I saw this symbol. There were protectors who worked in that city in a long, long time ago. And if this has something to do with the Library of Alexandria, this also has something to do with Warehouse 2, and that's what that symbol is from. I don't know who is connected to both of them, especially now. There's no warehouse agents out there on the loose. There's no warehouse agents that... I gotta check the bronze sector. I, um... Okay. Whatever um, is I... whatever is happening up there, these mm -hmm, whatever is happening up there, there's got to be a reason. It's all, if it's all literary, but these are some artifacts. There is something about the Library of Alexandria that we did not know, and we have not figured out, and that makes me nervous. Um, new plan, more important than bag it, snag it, tag it. Figure out who the hell's on the other end of this. And she hangs up. And she as as she as head. she as she hangs up, he goes, Okay, I will need to ask what a regent is later. <laughs> right. Um, okay, you have no got clue. It. <laughs> no, no fucking clue that there were other warehouses. That we have regents. What those are. <laughs> um The hell shit. is a regent? Okay. <laughs> and, and then he's gonna wait. No? Okay, got it. <laughs> He'll put his farms ja worth away. Ja Jackie just calls, what you doing? <laughs> what's, what's up? What's up? No, you going? <laughs> okay, got it. I, I will, no, yeah, go, 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 that. yeah. Um, so, uh, to answer your question, the gentleman is still, um, is still, is still watching, he's watching rugby. Um, he's, he's British. Um, he Love is, that. yeah, he's, he's watching, he's watching real football. Uh, or rugby, um, depending on who's not got commercials going on. He's ah, oh, you finished already, then? Uh, no, no, I I took the toilet apart. It doesn't seem like there's anything wrong with the toilet. It seems to be a sensor issue that's paging us, and it's going to keep paging us. It's going to try to keep sending out more people. Ugh. So I need to do a full power reset, 
and that might take a minute. Uh, how long's a minute then? How long you got? I well, I'm supposed to be out, but fuck. All right. What are your names again? I'm Ray. And you would know that my name tag says Carl. All right. Carl. <laughs> Carl. I don't know. It was some. It was a random masculine name. Right. Well, my. Actually, my... Johannes. Johannes. It says Johannes on it. What the fuck. Um. <laughs> All right, Ray and Joe. Um, <laughs> I uh, listen. Um, there's there's more than me jobs worth. Just let you go poking around in here. But um, if you're gonna shut off all the power, uh, I'm really gonna go take a piss. Um, so I'm gonna pop over to the other cabin. But I know both your names. I've got track of yeah. every single thing that's that lives in this space. I'll report you so fucking fast. To the I would expect. I I can't risk losing this job. I got a got a baby back at home that I just can't. Uh, I, I can't risk this. So trust me when I say, uh, don't worry. Right, right, all right. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Do what you gotta do. All right, uh, and he pops out. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go and, uh... When I hear the door open and close, can I poke my head out and see who is leaving? And it's can obviously like... the dude. Yeah, it's the, it's the dude, yeah. Can I also, like, like purposely, like, just catch myself on, like, maybe, like, the, the island in the kitchen or something, so it's like I hurt myself, and I'm like, ah! And then I'm like, that's... Yeah. Perfect, I will quietly go down the stairs. Amazing. I'm not that clumsy, right? Yeah. <laughs> nice thing. You all have... I'm going to do this. I'm going to do real in-game timer. Until Shit, he gets okay. back. And go. Uh, so okay. actually, right... Sorry, I apologize. Right before you start that in-game timer. Mm -hmm. How long do we have until the 10... In-game, how long do we have until 10 minutes before the lunch? 10 minutes. Okay, perfect. That's more than okay. I Go. just wanted to make sure that we weren't past that. Yeah. Um, all uh, right. Are you okay in the dark if I actually shut off the power to, like, kind of um, not write suspicion from the other guy? Sure. And he'll open up his uh, bag, and it has a flashlight in it. Nice. Cool. So I'm going to go find the breaker and actually shut everything off. Okay, perfect. Um, I want to go around. Are there any unopened boxes? Or are there any opened boxes with the symbol on it? No. Are there, do any of the boxes have the like plastic sheet that is stuck to crates that has an insert with paper that has an inventory? Yes. Um, I would like. You do not understand the language, but they do. Okay, I will point out the language to Evie to see if they recognize this language. They do not speak Egyptian. Okay, perfect. Then I'm going to, good God. Then I'm going to pull out my phone, and I have, because I travel the world um, for jobs, I have the Google, or not the Google Translate, yeah, actually, it's yeah. like Microsoft Translate app, yeah, you where you can it. literally point it at things, because I use this in Italy, and it will use the camera to register what the words are, and translate them to English, please. Brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> um, uh, are you just going through these? I want to, the ones with the stamp on them, I want yeah. to see and scan through and see if I can find anything about a map. Because I'm going to tell Evie we're looking for the map. It had something to do with a brother and escaping to childhood. Are you looking at anything, um, are you are you registering any of the other names that cross your, cross your path? Or is it just going to be, um, you're just looking for a map, 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 map? Um, first and foremost is map. It's one of those things where I want to read them, but I'm not trying to remember them necessarily. Um, actually, you know what? Fuck it. Uh, because I have technology. Every time I have it pointed at one and it screenshot. translates, screenshot, yep, there you screenshot, go. screenshot. Brilliant. Great, great. Amazing. Fantastic. Um, you, uh, you can't find the map anywhere. You can't find anything oh. labeled with it. You cannot find anything labeled with this. Um, you do find something labeled compass, but okay. you don't find anything labeled map. Um, 
you do find things labeled like the uh, the artifacts that Evie had mentioned should have been there. Mm. As a, 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 in addition, things that everything that seems innocuous, though you knew in the list that there were first edition manuscripts of things, mm-hmm. and and all of these and art pieces and all these, and none of them are these. These are like handkerchiefs. Mm. These are ink blotter pads. These are reading glasses. None of these seem like big ticket items, but they were the things being guarded. Got it. Okay. And you um, hear him close the door outside in the ne- in the neighboring cabin, and he is coming back. Okay, got it. Um... <sighs> I'm sure you would have been looking for this. Is there any names of the owner or any anybody that we can track down that are on these lists or anything? You do notice that the bottom is signed to Frederick Asim at every step of the way. I got it. The one with the compass. Mm-hmm. Um giving a preliminary push on the lid, will the lid come off? Or is it nailed in like old shipping crates would be? Not even old. Nailed in. Standard. Everything everything is, oh. is tight. Okay, um, we can either steal this one thing and get out of here, or we can uh, wait to buy it, but we're supposed to also find out who's in charge of this, although we already have. Um, what do you want to do? Mm-hmm. Steal it, grab it, tag it, bag it? Um, I... I don't know if we have time. It, it we, sounds like you I think we've got an option. Get if we know the one that we need to get. On the front porch. Okay, okay. Uh, go turn on the breaker. Oi! You got lights fixed uh, yet? Yep, just about to reset the breaker right now. How long does it fucking take you to reset a breaker? Oh, it has to, it has to stay off to reset yeah. the sensor. Kind of like with your internet, I have to turn it off and leave it off for six minutes and then turn it back on. Like six that. minutes? We leave it off for 30 seconds in England? What the fuck? He's America just like, yeah, annoyed at America right now. <laughs> As you two... Yeah. We are true. in Canada. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> annoyed at Canada right now. Um, <laughs> and uh, that's, that's valid. Um, he is going to... As you two figure out what the rest of your plan is we are cutting to dr chase going through the rails through the rows do i do i find what i'm looking for make me an investigation check do you the the role i made earlier right yeah tell me what your investigation check was that was a natural 20 for 27 you find exactly what you're looking for excellent you find it in, as I mentioned, the, there's a special section of the Micah Baring Memorial Library that is just H.G. Wells. It is just okay. her first editions, her manuscripts, with a little autographed, with a little picture of the two of them together hanging on the wall, as H.G. Wells was one of the warehouse agents for some time. You have your take your pick. Okay. I mean, gotta take uh, the, you know, that audio recording of the first broadcast of the reading of War of the Worlds. There you go. Yes. Um, fantastic yeah yes good thank you for making me invent that as an artifact and figure out what that's gonna do later um appreciate you immensely for that sir all right Mm. and make my way back till i'm kind of close enough and i'm not finding it anywhere jackie um Any, okay, have you had any luck? Nope. Uh, without touching too much stuff, and when I, I don't, I'm worried to touch anything here that I'm going to end up thinking I'm five again. Yes, valid concern. It's all right. And walk so, like, back like, stage. like my pointer, and like I've got pliers, and like 
<laughs> like trying to pick up things like, eh, eh. Uh, have you called Claudia and told her what we know yet? Um, yeah, I told her we were looking for the compass and the story, that brother, brother story thing. Um, okay. Um, and I was just about to call, check in with you and then call up and see if we should stay down here or go up and help her. Yeah, so. um, I suppose... If you want to call her now, I guess it's not much else we can do. Okay, so I open up. And before she calls, uh, he pulls out his dart gun and shoots her in the back. Yeah. Back? Yeah. Or it like to, or to, like if, you. Oh, you hugged oh. me while I cried. Do I get <laughs> advantage or is she aware you get of a, me? You get advantage. You get advantage. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's fucking... totally... I'm looking at my thing, just yeah. talking to you, going, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. You're, I trust you, you're cool. He takes the scarf. There's a 30 yeah. 26 hit. Uh, yeah, Am it I still wearing hits. his scarf? Yes. Yeah. Um, Beautiful. I need a constitution saving throw, yeah. is the first dart. I also need you all to know, when I said before show, I have not discussed with Andrew how he's going to leave yet, that was not a lie at present. It is... That is something that has developed over the last 20 minutes in DMs. <laughs> where he went, hey, I'd like to do this. And I was like, boy, do I have an excuse for you. Uh <laughs> okay. Uh, Constellations. Con uh, meh. Saving throw. Yeah. Constellations. Uh, 10. God, fuck. And, uh, it's just a sleep dart. Sure. So she flops over. And... Oh, this is going to be the most. Don't, I don't thing touch I've anything. Oh my, my god, what are you doing to her? <sighs> Chase walks over and he looks. I truly am sorry. Sweet dreams. And he kicks the boring book away. <laughs> as, as we cut to Claudia realizing now that she has a list. She has leads. She has all of these things. As I roll something to make sure I'm not just doing plotch, yes. Um, um, the warehouse computer does the thing warehouse computers do. She was starting to run down to the bronze sector to double check that everybody was still in place that should have been. But the minute she started plugging in specific cities in Egypt, She's discovered something that he managed to hide even from her and the warehouse itself when it wasn't looking. That Dr. Aaron Chase was in one of the digs in Alexandria. One of the hired professionals helping to identify things that were not deemed dangerous. It seemed totally fine. As a matter of fact, there were not always enough warehouse agents to go around to do this. But somehow or other, he is connected to... That can't be a coincidence, right? She stops, she looks, she goes... She doesn't bother to call. She doesn't bother to pick up the Farnsworth. She simply grabs her Tesla and heads down into the warehouse floor immediately. Uh, I was, Dr. Chase's next move was going to be to Farnsworth, Claudia. <laughs> she puts on a face. She's dealt with villains before, and she opens it. Uh -huh. Hey, Doc, what's up? Uh, it is not pointing at him. It is, like, stood up, pointing at Jackie. And, it's, and like, so she can clearly see everything that's happened and goes... You can stop me or save her. As the and then just just footsteps as he walks away. Bitch, I can do both. She she closes she closes the um, Farnsworth with a snap. She can see she could see in the video that the shadows were beginning to approach, um, because uh, because that is what they do. Especially because she's asleep. There is no way to stop this. My flashlight's just, like, on its side, just pointing rocking. off randomly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> she runs. And I was going to say, I'm going through, like, 
a jewelry box that was like next to Wendy's bed or something looking for a compass and I'm just, do I fall and touch any of those things? No, thank God. You no don't buttons. want to, trust no, me. It's already bad. Yeah. Um, but um, she slams many alarms as she goes. She has had break-ins at the warehouse before enough to know. And you don't know what's waking up. You have no clue what security measures she has put in place to try to stop you as she herself runs to try to wake up Jackie and make it back to the Peter Pan Theater. She has not called you two. She is very, very focused. You two still think that all you have to do is go to auction. And that's what we're going to call it a night. <laughs> Fuck you, Andrew! Andrew motherfucking well day! Played. Oh, I couldn't oh, just That was normally. so good! <laughs> Sir! Was no, literally, I have to tell you Two. all this fucking moment, <laughs> alright? So, like, I my idea was... He's just gonna get tired of like, and he's just gonna have a lab somewhere deep in the warehouse and he can pop back in and out when he wants to. This was so much more fun where he was like, how about, can we make him a bad guy? And I was like, yep, always. <laughs> I got you. The answer um, is always yes. <laughs> the answer is always yes. Um, I, I did not, we like, I did not message Pixie about this until after I was like, Claudia, you should go, uh, like, if you need to go up to your yeah. office, you can. I'm like, I've kind of set myself up yeah, perfectly to. Yeah. Uh, he did not yeah, message until there, like, middle of the floor. until like 9.15. <laughs> until like 9.15. He was like, he like, that's when he was uh. like, hey, how about this? So like in the last 45 minutes, we have <laughs> in private messages. I was like, he was like, great. What am I stealing next? And I was like, that's why he was like, do I see what I'm looking for? Yes, the HGL mm. stuff would be a thing that he would want or that yeah. the collective mm. would want. It yeah. also gave me an in that I was actually going to have to fight for. Thank you, Andrew. This is why I like to tell role players to make bold choices is um, you gave me an in that is better than what I had in mind for yeah. why where, and how artifacts had gone missing. The in was right here. He yeah. got them and sent them out when we weren't mm -hmm. looking. He was hiding in plain sight. That is so much more fun than anything I had planned. Yeah. I'm yeah. not even telling you uh, what I had planned that because that was so much fucking better. Um, I, mm -hmm. yeah, frantically hitting the vape. Listen, a mood. Um, uh, <laughs> a mood. I feel, so when I'm like, all right, how does he get out of here? I'm like, oh no. Yeah. Kick the book. Yeah. Oh, rib. Yeah. That you get. I finally get a good roll and get unwhammied. And then do a and... shot. <laughs> and then immediately <laughs> sleep. I am knocked out by uh, an artifact again. Yeah. About, yeah. I would say another important note. <laughs> he did not take his scarves back. Aww. Oh. Okay. Well, at least that because that would. He didn't cruel. strangle like, her great. with them. <laughs> great. Listen. The... I I feel like that's almost worse. She's gonna wake up and with the... that's. Well, yes. she might wake up. If she wakes up, she'll have the... If she wakes up. I told everybody to have backup characters, right? Uh, um, and we do so need we all after start character. start building. The character was going to be a bad guy. Listen, um, I didn't know that wasn't the plan. Um, <laughs> well done, Andrew. It's true. Like, we're talking in the in the chat about we how, like, oh, Matthew oh. said how much he loves his choices. I agree. Andrew yeah. motherfucking day. You are um, a gentleman and a scholar. And even when you're a villain, we cannot hate you because that was brilliantly handled. Wonderfully done. Oh, thank you for, story. thank you for getting my playable NPC involved in the ways that you do, because I do feel like Claudia is in the way sometimes, but she's also, that's how the show works. She has to be, mm -hmm. she has to be there but she has to not run the show for you. And so you gave her really good reasons to be involved in the, the kinds of ways Artie usually was with people using his own agents against him. And yeah, that was well done. Especially for like, Potato has never seen this show before. You're, go back and watch the first two episodes. You'll have, you will be in love with Dr. Chase and you'll be extra mad along with us. Correct. Yeah. You'll be yeah. real mad. Turns out the reason Dr. Aaron Chase was good with librarians is they know. Is he kind of is one. Yeah, they, they all know. <laughs> I have really fun da, da, yeah, da. I have really fun shit with, with this um planned, but next week um next week we're gonna be down because Cody has a comedy showcase, so anyone who's here in Orlando, please come join. Um mm -hmm. 
and uh, please come join us. That will be a lot of fun. Um, it's going to be at the Geek Easy, I believe, at the new ca- location. Um, mm. So the week after that, we should be back, um, by which point either either will Andrew will be written out and be um, and be and and we'll deal with that fallout then or um or maybe we just won't know he just no one will know and it'll just be you know quiet um just depends on how the roles go but we're gonna send you guys on a raid for now over to punk nix um wonderful amazing friend of the channel um great streamer um glass crafter um and uh and yeah please 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 join uh the kickstarter for the new system and also uh follow easy to spell andrew over at easy to spell i play the villains there too well yeah because you're the dm um and uh and um and jackie king over at shout out krista corvide there can only be one shout out out of time so i cannot do both so give me a moment do you, I already if, did if, easy to if the, oh Yeah, if the if the shout outs do ever if people do come check us out on our TikTok, we have every episode that we've aired for this current campaign. We have like one to two minute recaps of each episode mm-hmm. that just kind of go over the points. So it takes twenty minutes to catch up on the full campaign instead Amazing. of Amazing. 30 hours. So we love that. That's yeah. Cody tries to do that too with the disasters where he'll talk us through the relevant things, at least when we do that. And I'm trying very hard to like, Oh shit. It's raid time. All right. Um, I have to send you guys on the raid, raid. uh, but, uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Bye.